Hey guys, what's up? There are a ton of great fantasy series, movies, and other things, whatever. Basically series and movies because it's Netflix. On Netflix. And um, there are just so many great ones. And I think like Netflix is the place to go for fantasy because I even think like the, the whole streaming service, the whole movie thing, not only is that like so convenient to just have that available like on demand anytime you want, where like in the past you'd have to go to a video store and like get one movie at a time. And this one is just like, watch some of it, like it, stay with it, like it a lot, watch all eight seasons of it, and it gets to be a lot. There's basically, basically there's more really good series on Netflix than you could pretty much watch. And there's a great amount of fantasy series on Netflix. And I think Netflix is the place for fantasy series. And I think the age of the fantasy series and the fantasy movies has really come around and become mainstream. I, I think that fantasy used to be not necessarily mainstream. I think kids liked it, certain adults liked it. Not everyone thought it was cool. Not everyone liked the whole genre of fantasy. Not, not everyone liked sword and sorcery, high adventure. Not everyone liked this kind of thing. And um, it really wasn't, you know, the... The, 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 the core audience, like if you look at some of the um, Oscars that people got for movies, not a lot of that is fantasy. And, and the, the, the Oscars that fantasy movies did get are basically for um, art direction, special effects, things like that, maybe best score or something like that. But a lot of the movies that got awards were drama, fiction, other genres. It wasn't really like fantasy was not the main genre. And now, and I think Hollywood even, and Netflix definitely, because Netflix is huge, um, realizes that there is a, a really like big market for fantasy movies and fantasy series and on Netflix, you know, and, and Netflix is the place to see it. And so there's a few different like really, really good series that I think are just a completely must watch. And the first one, I'm just going to write, say this first because you got to see this one. And if you haven't seen this one, you got to see this one. That's why I'm going to make it first. It's called Stranger Things. Stranger Things is awesome. They did three seasons so far. They're, they're working on a fourth season. I don't know when it's going to come out. But Netflix is saying that the fourth season is on its way. At some point, it's going to come out. Um, and what's interesting about like Stranger Things, it's pretty cool. It's all done in the 1980s. And it's a cool trip back into the 80s. So if you grew up in the 80s, you'll like the whole memory of, you know, you kind of recognize the 80s, like Dungeons and Dragons, uh, cars that were more steel than fiberglass. <laughs> you know, a lot of different, like, even like, they even had like the, 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 the cars in there were like 80s cars. And I'm thinking like, how did they even get those cars? They must have just like found 80s cars and renovated them or, you know, built them like how did they even build like an 80s car because where do you get 80s cars anymore they're like completely antiques you know it's like cars are like they get they're expensive and then you and then you know when you own them for a couple of years they're real cheap but then like if you own them for like 30 40 50 years now they're like completely collector's items and now you know you you can get a ton of money for them stranger things is amazing um it is a fantasy it is an urban fantasy it's got a little bit of sci-fi in it, um, and it's got it's sort of like a monster movie also. So, you know, all these cool stuff, fantasy, sci-fi, monster movie. A lot of people put monster movies with fantasy all the time, and I do think that a lot of times monsters and fantasies are very, very, very similar. And, you know, you could, you could say that monsters are fantasy elements, but monsters are also horror elements. You know, like a dragon, though. A dragon's a fantasy element no matter what, you know, um, a unicorn's a fantasy element. A ghost could be a horror element or a fantasy element. You see them in fantasy stories and you see them in horror movies like uh, Poltergeist, things like that, you know? And so, you know, and so getting back to um, Netflix, Stranger Things is basically three seasons. It's about these kids in the 80s um, in a small town and there's this monster from another dimension that Basically, there's this machine that the government or some kind of government somewhere in the world invented, and this machine opens the world between our dimension and some other dimension. As they open this portal, 
to another dimension, these monsters start coming in and destroying, killing people, eating people, destroying people, taking over their minds, everything, you know, the whole thing. And there's this one kid, um, a little girl, her name is Eleven because they don't really know her real name. They just called her Eleven. And uh, um, because she's, she's basically a number, not a name. Uh, they gave her a number, you know, didn't give her a name. So they call her Eleven, right? Um, and so basically she's psychic. She's not just psychic. She's got these powers where she can pretty much use her mind to like destroy these monsters, throw them up against the wall, blow them up, you know, throw them around, all kinds of like telekinesis weird powers that uh, she's able to de defeat these monsters, which otherwise cannot be defeated. Great story. And it's just like, that's kind of a simple part of it, but it's a great adventure. It's a great story. It, it's, it's sort of like, it feels like you're going back to the eighties. If you grew up in the eighties, you, you can appreciate that. If you've never experienced the eighties. It, it's a pretty accurate depiction of what the eighties was like. It's sort of like, I feel like it's the same kind of depiction that, <clears throat> that, um, the movie, um, uh, Back to the Future did with the fifties, you know, it's like, if you know, a lot of times people saw the fifties, like their first experience with the fifties was from Back to the Future. If you didn't grow up in the fifties, Back to the Future puts you in the fifties and everything though, that was going on in the fifties was amazing. That's a great series though. Um, it's horror, it's not horror, but it's got monster elements, fantasy elements, sci-fi elements, things like that. I think it's a great series. Um, there's a couple other ones. Um, now the thing I'm going to talk about the, the second one, this one's pretty popular, but it's, um, the Witcher. Um, I like the Witcher. I think it's cool. I, I did I get it, you know, sucked into it and have to wear, watch all of them. No, but a lot of people have sucked, got sucked into them and, and had to watch all of them just to watch all of them. And it's only two seasons out. I like the Witcher video game. I like, uh, the Witcher two assassins of Kings on the 360. That, that game was great. I heard Witcher three, the game is a lot better but I, I can understand where they can make the game better. Cause I mean, it's not perfect, but I still love the game. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm really, really looking forward to play Witcher 3 on whatever system it's on, like PS4 or something like that. Um, but but um, The Witcher is pretty cool. It, it, if you like medieval fantasy, if you like swords and sorcery, he's basically a monster hunter, um, magician, uh, sort of like wizard at the same time, uh, swordsman. Uh, a lot of good adventure, a lot of a lot of mag um, magic, action, medieval fun thing to be had. There's bards, there's witches, there's all kinds of um, groups of, of of witches and magic users. There, there's spiders. There's you know basically places you can get <laughs> places you can get a beer or places you know uh, you can you can like kind of like explore. There's there's tons of monsters. Um, a lot of great medieval fantasy to be had in that kind of thing. Um, there's another one that I'm gonna like mention about um, in Netflix. I I really think that I, I have to mention this one because if you're talking about fantasy, um, you gotta you gotta talk about Supernatural. It's got like 15 seasons right now or something like that. That, that there's it's there and they have all 15 seasons on Netflix and it's probably gonna take a long time to watch all of it, but it's great. It's pretty good. It, it's it's like it starts off slowly. But I know a lot of people that really, really love this series and is really into this series. So I, I definitely think it's relevant. Two guys, very urban fantasy, very, very monster movie. Uh, two guys, they're brothers, and they're basically the supernatural monster hunters or something like that. Where they're after certain demons, certain monsters. They want revenge on a monster that I think like did like kill someone in their family, like something like that. Or their mother or something like that or, or or something like that that happened and they're basically and then the, at in the beginning of the series like they don't know where their father is and later they find their father and he's also a monster hunter and a supernatural you know hunter paranormal monster hunter whatever and basically like each ser each like episode is part of an adventure and when it first starts it's like every episode is its own adventure but then into season two and whatever, as it, as it progresses, it becomes one long story, which I really prefer because that, that keeps you watching. If it's just like one standalone episode, you see one, you see another, you see another, and you don't really connect all of them. But later in the series, you connect them and it's just like the story starts to really unravel and expand. And there are characters who keep coming back, coming and going and stuff like that. It's a, it's a great, um, 
they're, they're kind of detectives a little bit because they're trying to like investigate paranormal phenomenon at the same time, exercise demons, kill monsters. They've got like a trunk full of like weapons that they use on monsters and whatever it is. Um, it's, 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 it's really, really good. It's definitely like significant. Um, and there's a lot of like monsters to be had in this thing. There's monsters, there's hunting monsters, there's running away from monsters. Um, and there's these two kids who are like constantly getting in trouble because what they do is that they, they, they hunt these monsters and they do a lot of stuff they're not supposed to be doing. And so they get in trouble for it and they have to like run from the law and then run for monsters and kill monsters. And that's what pretty much their whole point is. It's a, it's a really cool series. If you haven't seen Supernatural, give it a go, give it a shot. Uh, it's probably, you know, you probably like it because a lot of people that watch Supernatural really like it. There's a few more really good ones. Um, one is Brand New Cherry Flavor, it's called, which is a weird name for a series. It's a great series and it's basically witches. It's about this witch. This woman makes a deal with this witch. She wants to put a curse on this guy who screwed her. He's a um, sort of like a, a movie producer. And basically she wrote a movie and she wanted him to produce it. And he said he would, and then he basically uh, said he was he was going to make her the director of the movie. And then, you know, he made her sign the waiver and the, the contract, and it turns out that he screwed her. She, she, she wasn't, like, in the contract, so she's not going to be the, um, the, uh, the, the, the director of the movie. She's not going to be in the movie, whatever it is. And he kind of, like, stole her movie and, like, screwed her. So she's like, I'm going to get back at him. I'm, I'm gonna put a curse on him. So she goes to this witch who puts a curse on him and then oh man, it's just the weirdness ensues. You know, like this witch is powerful and it turns out that this witch is super powerful and she act, actually ends up having to fight with this witch. And it was very, very difficult to do that because she is a super powerful witch and she's basically the villain, the monster and the people, there's a whole lot of people around uh, that are basically you know, like pretty much trying to take her down because she is going to basically take down the people around her if, if she's not taken down herself. Interesting series, uh, weird series, but definitely worth worth a worth a, um, a watch. A few more other ones are, are pretty pretty cool. Fate the Winx Saga, really really good. Um, it's about like uh, it, it's just a, it's a really, really good. It's sort of like a sort of like an urban medieval kind of fantasy it's it's kind of a weird fantasy there's cursed curse is pretty cool cursed is about um it's a king arthur story about you know excalibur lancelot king arthur uh merlin all that stuff but everyone's a fairy that's the difference <laughs> you know so that's pretty cool um and there's there's a lot of stuff on there now i wish that buffy the vampire slayer was on there because uh, I really want to see it because a lot of people have told me how great it is and I, I saw the first few episodes and um, I didn't get into it. You know, I didn't hate it. I didn't dislike it. I, at first I thought it was a joke because it was like Buffy the Vampire sounds like a comedy, right? Because it's like usually like vampire slayers are badass and they're not like cheerleaders in a high school, <laughs> right? It doesn't sound like that's even a thing, but it was a thing. It was a real thing and she was a real dragon uh, vampire slayer and whatever it's so that, that's pretty cool. I would also recommend all of the Underworld movies. And when those came out, I thought they were like B-movies. They weren't any good, you know. But then I, I watched a few of them and they were really good. So they have Underworld and they've got like a bunch of different Underworld ones. Underworld, like Revolution or something like that. They have a lot of different Underworld movies. There's like three of them. And I'd recommend watching all of the Underworld. When you're watching the Underworld movies, um, definitely watch like the first one first. Figure out like... If you go to Google, it'll tell you which one of those came out first and watch them in order. Because uh, you don't have to watch them in order, but it makes a little bit more sense if you watch them in order because the characters in one movie come back in a different movie. And sometimes it's just, it just makes a lot more sense because the, the storyline does start at some point. You can watch them out of order and it's fine, but if you want to really kind of like pay attention to a little bit, it's not very important, but the storyline and the timeline, it starts with the first movie and it goes on to the to the future movies and stuff like that. Um, there's a ton of other ones. There's one called um, uh, The Old Guard, which is pretty cool. It's about um, these, the, the, these people who are kind of like immortal or something like that. And there are these like immortal, like soldiers, they can't be killed. That's pretty cool. Um, 
it's, there's, there's a ton of other ones. There's just so many. Like if you go to, if you look at, um, like if you go to like the actual, uh, to, to, to the series, what's interesting about like Netflix and what they're doing is uh, it's not all on the fantasy list. You know what I mean? It's like if you like click in fantasy, it'll tell you the more, the real fantasy movies. Like it's going to say Merlin, you know, that that series. It's going to say The Witcher, right? It's going to give you that. It might tell, say Cursed. It might be Fake the Wink Saga. The, um, there was another one, um, a, a, a Warrior Nun. Uh, that's another one. It's also like sort of, it's pretty good. Um, uh, it, it's sort of like uh, she's this nun and she's got this weird symbol magic item it gets stuck in her back and it gives her powers and stuff like that so there's like warrior nun that's one thing um there's a ton of of, of other ones you really want to like check it out um uh you really want to want to check it out just if you just like go to regular like most of the movies on there most of the series on there are basically like um it doesn't say like fantasy but it will say these are like fantasy elements. So you can find fantasy series on there just by looking at like action series or um, like something like that, like an action series, whatever kind of thing you want. There's another great one called Tidelands, which is a really nice one. I do, do recommend that one. Tidelands is fantastic. It is, it's slow, but it's good. You know, it's slow, it's not that exciting, but it's good. And Tidelands is about um, sirens. They're sort of like these uh, women, these people oh, that, that live in the sea. You know, they live in the ocean. And they're not mermaids because they have legs, right? They're not like half fish. They have legs. They're, you know, they're, 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 merma they're not mermaids, but they're sirens. And they lure like sailors to their death or something with their song. That's a great one um, because you don't know what it is. And... Um, it's just this weird, like, story in a, in a small town, and I didn't even know that was going to be a fantasy series, but I had a feeling it was, you know? Um, a lot of the fantasy series is, like, they don't tell you it's a fantasy series. They don't say this is a fantasy story. They just say, oh, this is what it's about, and all of a sudden, you, you go a few episodes in, and it's, like, total fantasy, you know? Um, so that's a great one. Tidelands, I think, is one of the, one of the better ones. It's really, really good. There was, the, there's like so many of them. There's this other one where this, it, it's about this guy and they change into like, sort of like um, weird, like animals or something like that. They change into other beings and stuff. Like they change into fish and they're able to like go and swim in the water and then breathe in the water and stuff like that. Really, really interesting. Um, it's weird how like they'll take a series um, and they'll make it fantasy. And one of the most um, important ones, and I, I think this is another one I really want to mention. I'll, I really think this is probably one of the best ones. And in my opinion, I like this one better than any of the other ones. I, I like the other ones; they're amazing. I'm not gonna, um, you know, but I like this one. This is one of my favorite. Um, is uh, and I didn't think it was gonna be my favorite because it sounded like a Wild West kind of western movie kind of thing but it's a series called um uh was it erp or something like that um winona erp right it's it's called winona erp i really really like the series a lot um and it's basically a wild west paranormal fantasy you know it's that it's wild west mixed with urban fantasy and it's fantastic it's just so much action there's a lot of fantasy elements um, there, there's, there's monsters, there's people, there's like cowboys from the old wild west who are immortal, who got immortality because they're of this magic item, a ring or something like that. And, um, they lived from that time for like 200, 300 years till, till, I think it's like 200 years to, to the present day. Uh, it's basically, they're surrounded, they're in this w little town. They're surrounded by um, demons that live in that town. <clears throat> the demons can't leave the town. <clears throat> and the demons can't be killed except by Winona Earp's gun, Peacemaker. And this is a weird, it's, it's like a magic gun that can kill demons and stuff. So it's up to her, you know, to, she's cursed. These demons are going to come after her, her family, everyone that she loves. 
unless they're all put down. And there's just more and more and more demons. They seem to be like abundant demons and just tons of demons always coming after her. And she takes them down. So there's witches, demons, devils, angels, monsters, ghosts, uh, magic, magic weapons, magic items, spells, curses, um, all, other dimensions, time travel. There is just so much different stuff in the series where it's just heavy, heavy fantasy. But what I like about it is it takes place in the Wild West and I've never seen the Wild West that way before. And it gave me a new appreciation for Westerns and the Wild West movies and stuff like that. And the Wild West whole culture and the whole genre of the Wild West itself. So that's some of the fantasy um, that they have right now, the fantasy genre they have right now on Netflix. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and check out my other videos and share this one with your friends if they like this kind of thing. And yeah, have a great day and I will see you guys in another video later.